What could they be hiding from us about the planet Venus? NASA images of artifacts on the planet Venus. As we can see, Venus is just about the same size as our planet Earth. The planet Venus is a world just next to us, but at the same time so far away from us. It's one of the closest planets to us, but according to astronomers, it is hellish in terms of temperature. Despite the playful impression given by the name of the cute ancient goddess Aphrodite, who gave it its name, Venus, it has previously been argued that the roughly Earth-sized planet could host life or once had life there, but all these were pursued and ended up being novels and science fiction scenarios. The idea, though, began to be slowly overcome according to more modern estimates published by NASA scientists and which were based on climate simulators and other models and applications. Led by Michael Way of NASA's Goodart Institute for Space Studies, a related publication was made in the journal Geophysical Research Letters of the American Geophysical Union, where they think it is possible that two billion years ago there was a shallow ocean of water somewhere on Venus. At the same time, temperatures would have been much more lower than they are today, otherwise the water would have evaporated, of course. Among other things, in the study according to IN.GR, claims that then there may have been conditions friendly to life, while the researchers do not rule out that Venus could be the first habitable planet in our solar system before even uh, from Earth, that is, however, at least 715 million years ago. That was when the Earth was still Pangea, basically. Now, despite the speculations and possibilities, this announcement sparked new theories or revived those that claimed something similar several decades ago, but were considered fairy tales. Nowadays, there are quite a few images that are as intriguing as those coming from the planet Mars and the artifacts found on Mars. As formations have been identified on Venus that suggest structures such as buildings or bases or even complexes of buildings or perhaps even cities. Now, furthermore, in early April 2018, Professor Rakesh Mogul and a, bio, a biochemical, uh, biological chemist at uh, California State Polytechnic University argued in a NASA study published in the journal Astrobiology that the acid clouds of Venus could host a form of simple microbial life. Also that the mysterious patches, quote unquote, or spots could be algae blooms like those found in lakes and seas. A year ago, Business Insider reported on a strange planet-wide anomaly associated with gravitational waves. Some have argued that they could be artificial. So what happens to the second planet from the sun? Is it Because we're the third. Is it possible that the brightest object in this night sky after the moon once harbored life with intelligent beings? Could these be human-like, since the findings resemble man-made structures like we have on our Earth? Could it be that another lifetime humans once arrived there and established a colony? And what about all those flying objects that have occasionally appeared around Venus? Are there alien bases there as well, as it's claimed to be the case with the Moon, for example? Could it be that if there is a species, life on Venus is not just in a microbial state, but is there something more? What can they be hiding from us about the planet Venus? So these are images from NASA concerning Venus. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. This one seems to have an H in the center of that uh, depression. I guess that's just gates or something. Anyway, please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Again, these are NASA images. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.